On the breakfast today will the worldwide celebration of nurses for the work they do for others. Do nurses have a right and how can their rights be protected? Also on the breakfast we'll bring you the latest update in the exciting world of sports. And don't forget, we also would be looking through today's newspapers and analyzing the biggest stories of the day. Good morning to you. Many thanks for joining us on The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. I am Justin. Academia. It is a wet, wet Friday morning in the city of Lagos. And how are you coping? How are you trying to get to your offices or to your place of work this morning? A whole lot of people are going to be a bit stranded. A lot of people might just get to their offices very late. You know how it is when it rains in Lagos. And being a Friday when everyone is trying to be on the road at the same time, would the drainage is not working as they should be. You just find floods and flash floods all over the place. It was... A Herculean task trying to get to the office today, but I made it here in one piece. I trust that you would also try and get to your office, even if it's a bit late, and then try and shake off the cold somehow. Maybe get a cup of coffee, cocoa, whatever works for you. I have um, a cup of tea here, and I'll be doing justice to that over time. All right, let's just slide over to top trending, and uh, we will start with um, 2023. You know, 2023 is almost here, and um, a whole lot of people are jostling for the soul of the nation's presidency. A lot of people are making declarations, but this time around, Ohanez and Debo is in the news. Yes, they are in the news, and they have bad, uh, you know, politicians from the Igbo extraction from accepting vice presidency slots. This time around, they are saying it is the Southeast that will be producing the next term president come 2023. And they feel that if they accept uh, anything short, it will, those, it will seem as if they are playing a uh, second fiddle. Let me just give you a background of how the story uh, went um, just yesterday. Now, the APS social political organization in the Southeast, uh, the Ohanez and Debo, now declared on first that no Igbo politician uh, uh, should accept to be running mate to any presidential candidate in 2023, but the President General of the organization, George Obiozo, made a declaration at the Imo Obi Ohanez and Debo meeting in Enugu. Now, Obiozo said the clamor for Igbo to be elected President of Nigeria was morally and historically justifiable and a project to which every Igbo must commit. Let me just quote him for about him. He said, all the double dealings about zoning and rotation of power are orchestrated conspiracy to deprive the Southeast of the right to produce the president. I, and he went on to say, I encourage all the presidential aspirants from the zone to remain focused, tenacious, and optimistic. He explained that the political action committee, the PAC of the Ohanez and Debo, would meet several eminent Nigerians to persuade them to appreciate why a politician of Southeast extraction should be elected as president of Nigeria, he went on to say many things. Uh, you know, just yesterday we were talking about uh, you know Southeast presidency. We had uh, Shehu Sani here with us. Uh, he joined us via phone, and uh, he was talking about how if the Southeast uh, was to produce the next president in 2023 to bring an end or an informal end to all the clamors uh, for agitation, you know, the civil war which has been fought like 50 years ago, but some people have not been able to find closure. According to him, that would actually bring a bit of uh, peace to the Southeast. So he was saying that um, both the, the two uh, leading political parties in Nigeria, that's the APC and the PDP, should actually you know, swing in you know, their flag bearers to the south is, although there have been talks about uh, uh, the south uh, taking the hems of affairs come next year, but specifically he was um, you know, advocating that it should be moved, not just to any part of the south, but the South is the, and the South Eastern as they've been feeling short-changed and marginalized over the years, uh, according to you know, reports and all that they have not um, produced uh, the president uh, in about 22 years. And uh, the, the, the highest uh, body of the Igbos are uh, saying that they will not accept anything short of the presidency come next year. We can't take second fiddle, we can't take uh, the VP slot, except we are given the slot 
of the presidency. So it is actually making the rounds, and um, Nigerians uh, have been talking and reacting about it on Twitter and, uh, and across various social media platforms. Well, we'll just leave that one at that. Uh, let's take at uh, the next uh, story uh, making you know, headlines and trending across uh, social media. Virgin plane was actually turned back over the pilot's uncompleted flying test. Do you know that the pilot has actually almost gotten to his uh, destination, but he was not allowed, you know, you know to actually land because uh, he didn't complete his flying test. You know, you know, yesterday or two days ago, we we're talking about, uh, you know, plane mishaps and um, an accident that uh, almost occurred uh, uh, in Nigeria because uh, of uh, some maybe checks not being done. But this time around, uh, the Virgin plane was actually turned back because uh, not as though the pilot could not fly, it was not approved to fly, but his flying test was not complete. And um, they just could not take the risk because they feel that it actually was a huge risk, you know, just accepting uh, a pilot flying into their own airspace without having all the necessary requirements. What do you really think about that? How can you allow someone who is not completely tested or accredited, you know, to be flying an international plane. So that's what happened. That's what trended, and you got a whole lot of people talking. You know, Virgin Atlantic plane was turned, uh, was turned back. It is actually a very, very sad situation. But my thought goes out to uh, go out to the people who were actually on that particular flight. You know, they uh, would have almost landed to their destination, but they were just turned all the way back to where they were coming from. It is really a very, very sad, sad one. But then, it's better to be safe than just uh, making up excuses for uh, people who actually are not approved to be doing things uh, to do what they had to do. So, a lot of people were safe yesterday, and um, what do you think about it? Let's get your reaction. Uh, let's just um, talk about it on our social media platforms. Uh, we'll take a quick break, and when we return, we'll go straight to Off the Press. In a moment, it's still breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Stay with us. <laughs> 